I, I like need some clothes to wear, people. I can't get rid of everything. I just look like one giant boot. And I'm not going to keep this anymore. It's cute, but it's going. I don't use... <laughs> it feels good to start on like a new fresh day and start to like getting away things like that. Like that's going, that's staying. Ooh, 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 ooh. My channel I have a closet full of clothes but nothing to wear well actually it is part two of my cleaning out my closet so that I will have space in my closet to bring in things that I actually want to wear bringing things that gives me joy and gives me life so in my first part I wasn't ready to have this as two parts in my first part all I did was go through those three closets. It took me five hours to do, and I was so drained after it. I was so drained after that. And we still haven't covered my closet with coats, shoes, jewelry, and I remember that I also have a suitcase under my bed with clothes that I no longer can wear and that isn't seasonal. So I have so much more things and I thought I could cover everything in one video. No, 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 no. We need two. We might even need three. We'll see. <laughs> By the end of this, we'll see. But today, today I'm wearing uh, this nice blue dress. I didn't show it on uh, the part one. But this is like the navy blue that is good for me. If you remember, we cut off um, this piece of a sweater that I really love the color of, but it was very tired. <laughs> so I thought I will cut this off because no one wants to wear that. I'm, I'm not donating that. So this is a blue that I liked. So I cut it off and I'm gonna save this as a blue, a navy blue that is good for me. This also has these little like golden thingies that makes it a little bit brighter. I'm also wearing these silver earrings. I don't know if silver is really my color or if it's better that I make some silver and some gold. I don't know. And also um, showcase. Showcase is my thing. It has been my thing for a few years now and I would love to build up a beautiful shoker collection so we have we have a lot to cover today we have some energy yes and we're gonna start in the other room now in my hallway and look at uh, some of the coats so at first i had thought that i would bring in the camera to the to my hallway but then I feel like the, the light isn't the best in there. So then I thought I will just bring out all my coats here instead. And we can take a look at them and I can show you what I got and what I want to get rid of and why. But we can start. We can start off with bags. This is actually one of my most used bags. So I live in a little apartment here in Sweden. And my apartment, my apartment is like a little bit outside of like the central town. So I often wear these, this, when I either walk to, go, to do my grocery shopping or I take my bike to do my grocery shopping. So this is actually what most people see me wearing. And uh, yeah, <laughs> one of my most used handbags that I've had for I think almost 10 years. It is this one from uh, Donna Karen. And you can see it is like the gold is no longer gold. It's very like, it's very used. I used it a lot. Like I noticed that I'm not a kind of girl that needs to have wallets 
that matches the bag that I have. I don't need to buy a bag and a wallet to the bag and then another bag and then a wallet to that bag. Like I'm more the kind of person who uses one kind of wallet and then move that around bags. Um, so I've been looking at wallets and I actually think that my next wallet is gonna be a golden one because then that will be a little like special surprise in like whatever uh, bag I choose to wear I pull up that little like golden wallet and I can have like a black bag or a red bag or a turquoise bag like whatever bag I want and that little golden one can like fit uh, all of them, like golden metallic, that is what I want. The other bag I have is also a Donna Karen, not used as much. I do like this metallic bag, I do enjoy the style of it and everything, but I'm not, I don't wear it so much. I'm gonna donate this Donna Karen, but I'm going to sell this Donna Karen, and hopefully I can buy something new and nice. Moving on to shawls then, like I have this one, the purple one, which I bought at a second hand store and I just have it hanging on one of my chairs, like a decoration. And then my boyfriend bought me this uh, red one for Christmas and it's very nice, I like it. So that I will definitely save. I have this... Um, Missoni, Missoni Lindex one and then I have another one, a very colorful one like this, this isn't something that I do, I guess I want to do this but I don't like put on a leather jacket and then a scarf like no <laughs> and then this little thing no, I'm not a scarf person. I wish I was a scarf person, but I'm not a scarf person. I don't know how I feel about this. And this is something I've had for years and years and years. We put a coat on, we do this, but I don't feel like this is like my thing anymore either. This color is also beautiful though. It is a lovely color. It is beautiful. This is just a big gray one. It's going. This is a big pink one and I got this from my sister. Never worn it. I think this is a too strong of a color to have this close to my face. I, I need to have a color that is like really good for my skin if I'm gonna have it that close. This really brings out the color of my eyes. Okay then, coats and jackets, coats and jackets. This is from H&M. I think it's time for it to go now. It is all and tired, all and tired, all and tired. We don't want old and tired, we want fresh and new. This is the only uh, rain jacket that I have, so I will keep this and I will update it uh, further on. I think it might be a bit too small for me now. No, I got into it, awesome. This is two jackets that I got that I can use underneath um, coats that are a little bit thinner. Then I can put this uh, under and then stay more warm. This is a leather jacket that my mom bought at a second hand store. I wonder if I can fit it. It is, it is a very nice, brown color, very nice brown shoulder color. I think I'm actually getting into this. Oh, I am. Very nice and I can, and it has a belt so I can winch in, winch in the, the waist. Maybe I'm 
maybe just a little bit. I have too much junk in the trunk for it. <laughs> but I think I think I I'm going to save this for autumn and see if I can't use it. I can always have it open. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to, to use this more. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about wearing this more, I have to say. I can show you the other leather jacket that I have. I had a, like a time period when I was very much into this color. I don't know why, like this brownish um, cognac color. Like it's not bad but it doesn't spark joy in me. And if we're gonna compare colors, okay, we have this. No, maybe not this is the best thing to have for this. Remove that. Okay, so make. If we have now this color, this cognac color. And then we put this up. So I do feel like this also complements my hair and my eyes more. Whew. It feels good to start on like a new fresh day and start to like getting away things like that. Like that's going, that's staying. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I'm glad that, that we're doing another day. Then I have a, a false leather one. A fox leather one? I saw this this model I forgot her name now but she was wearing she was wearing a, a silver jacket and a black dress and I just thought she looked so good in that and I was just like oh, I want that for like my going out jacket I never want it going out I don't think I ever gone out I just look like one giant boob but it's sad if I'm gonna get rid of this because uh, this, this jacket was bought for a party. This jacket was bought for going out to parties and it's never been out to any parties. This should have a second chance to like go out on the, go out to the club. I feel like it hasn't gotten that chance. Is that the thing? Did I do something? I need a black lacy dress and this. And I need to go out. I need to have some breeze. I need to do some dancing. I need to take some smashing selfies in this. This is my first and only fake fur jacket. And I really love this. I would love to buy a coat, a, a fox fur coat. Maybe I can't do that this year, maybe it's something I need to pick up on the sales in like January or February But I would really love one I want, I want to get more Let's lay some teddy bears and get us some coats So H&M had a beautiful white and black coat Dog tooth coat I think it is and I tried it on and I didn't have money to buy it so I didn't buy it and I regretted that ever since so I did find this coat um, it was in it was in an online secondhand store but I really love this coat but I don't know how I feel about it anymore If this is something I should keep or if I should get something better or if something I should keep for now and when I find something better uh, replace it but I don't know are we liking this it is it is very hot in my apartment and this this is not helping me with being hot I have to say So this is a very good jacket and 
I'm loving this one. <sighs> so I just found some things when I went to um, put back my jackets and my coat. I found this bag. This is in that same color I was talking about, the kind of cognac thing that I was into. This is a very big bag. It's from Karen Millen. And I used it a lot when I was working. I don't know if it's something I should keep and use when I'm gonna go to Umeå. I don't know. I just don't know. I also found some, some baggies that I had. Some like cloth baggies and uh, it's time for them to go as well. And when it comes to woolly hats or hats overall, this is the only thing that I own. The only hat that I have. And it is also not in the best of shape. And it has this one. And that makes me feel like this is a hat that I can only wear when it's snowing outside or when it's really cold, like in the deepest, darkest of December and January. Otherwise, this feels like out of place. But I would love to get a new, uh, a new hat. A new woolly hat for this fall. But I don't know what color though. Like what color would you get like a woolly hat? Um, are you gonna get one that complements your gloves? Are you gonna get one that complements your coat? Are you gonna get some in like a basic color? So welcome to my little hallway and the drawer where I keep uh, all my jewelry and also my things I use when I do my hair. And I think I also have a sewing kit and some things down there. It's a very messy drawer so I do apologize for that. So here I have two of these like bandanas things. I've been thinking about throwing them away for a long time but I like put them away and then I come, ba come back and get them again but I'm feeling now that it's time for them to go because I haven't used them in ages so when I talked before about my Shoki collection uh, I mentioned I have these ones that are a bit like more loose and I bought one of these <laughs> with like different colors and stuff and the one I used the most is the black one these are also things that I got uh, on the internet, the chokers with the hearts. I use them sometimes when I stream. This is also one I have, this is one of those that are metal and are a bit like, it really, it does choke you. It's, it's a, that can be a, sit a bit tight and be a bit uncomfortable to wear. It is very cute though. And I have one of these. Ooh. This is one that I used a lot. It is a choker with like some lace and some dangly bits and stuff. And I got a lot of use of that. And also since it has this lacy part, it's very comfortable to wear. So I do feel I want to get more like this. I did use to, when I was younger, cut lace pieces and turn those into chokers. And I started to doing that again. I do have one of these like name, uh, name necklaces and I have one with my dog's name, uh, Charlie. He, he passed away in February, so I, I got a necklace with his name and I sometimes wear it. So um, I feel like he's with me. Like I'm thinking about making also uh, a necklace that has some of his ashes in it. I don't know yet, but I'm thinking about getting one of those. I got some game and movie related uh, necklaces also. I got this one from Lord of the Rings. This one I got from my sister and it's from Harry Potter, Hermione's little hourglass. And I got this one. Uh, it's the medallion from The Witcher. Fuck. It used to be a keychain, but I've been using it as a necklace instead. 
I guess I'm getting tired again. I can't make decisions now. Like I do enjoy like these sort of things like flower crowns. So here's a thought. Maybe I need to have like a little dress up box. Like just a little, little space in my wardrobe where I have things like uh, the masquerade outfits where I have like these little like costume items for when I feel like I want to dress up and I want to play around with those kind of stuff that is in a way separate from my everyday uh, wardrobe I think that could be something because now everything is just like mixed together and I just uh, need to go through everything to find what I want so I got this cute little um, I don't know what you call this, we say necessaire in Swedish. So I got this and I thought like I can put all of these things in it. They're probably gonna tangle and stuff. But for now I think I'm gonna put the, that in there, just to have these things separated. Separated, separated. So I know what, what like is in my dress up box and what is in my day-to-day -day, like jewelry collection. Do you also do that, that you buy these like little cute, little, I don't know what to call it, things that you don't use. I do use this one, I put some glasses in that, that's what it is, it's like to keep glasses in, so I guess this I can keep, those I will not keep. In an old after eight box, I have my sewing things. I also have this box filled with ribbons. And I feel like a lot of these ribbons are gonna go now. <laughs> and in the bottom of all of those ribbons, I had some buttons. I think I'm gonna put these buttons into my sewing kit. It. That took a little detour. <laughs> I also found another silver purse which I had forgotten about. This one is very cute. It's a bit more ladylike. It is uh, a second hand bag. It's made in the USA. It has a little a little thing. But I would I would normally use it like this. It hasn't been out much. I should take this out too. Not together with the silver jacket. They they need separate days. But they definitely need to come out a bit. Or I need to come out a bit. Or we both need we everyone needs to go out a little bit more. And now I'm in my jewelry box. In my jewelry box I have this toothbrush that I use to clean my jewelry with, like rings and earrings and stuff. So I keep that in the little hidden compartment there. I also have this uh, Christmassy little brooch of a Christmas tree. I also have this snowflake, but as you can see it's missing stones. And I don't know if I should try and find stones and glue them there or if I should get rid of it. I also have this brush which I got when I was a little girl from my mom. So I'm keeping that. And this is a pair of earrings that I worn quite a lot actually. They're very plain and simple just like the ones I'm wearing today. And then I keep some safety pins here just in case two rings that I love ne that I almost never use and this is a ring it's a lion I haven't used it for I haven't used it forever so I think it's time for it to go like I also have this little heart silver heart that I got from my mom many many years ago I haven't worn it for years it's just been laying here the same with uh, this lion again, another little lion that I bought, haven't used forever. This I have worn a lot, let's see if I can get it out. Ah, everything so tangled! Ah. So this is from um, 
Patricia Field. I bought this when I was in New York and I've been wearing it so much as you can see and it's so worn and I think it's time for this to go too even though I've been loving this some of you might recognize this from Sex and the City I think it's time for this to go now the cute earrings that I haven't worn so much but I feel like now when I, I got them out that I really should start to wear them more I also have these very very magpie <laughs> earrings that's very big, very heavy that I never use just keep because they are cute those are time it's time for them to go and the last thing I can show you is uh, this Eva Atling I think this is my one of my most uh, expensive jewelry and she made this it's called make love not war and that's written here on them and i haven't worn this either for years okay people this is the end of this part oh my goodness i'm so tired again and i know i cheated a bit by doing that part of my wardrobe that i'm calling a second chance but i do find that this is both very very exhausting very very interesting and also a bit hard so i think we're gonna have to do a part three of me going through my wardrobe okay anyway it is so hot in here i am so so exhausted from this so thank you so much for watching okay bye now bye hey dog hey